I'm here at Beijing Capital Museum, where you can learn about the history of the capital of China. Recently, Beijing announced its new promotion of museums throughout the city, trying to market itself as Beijing, City of Museums. And we're here at the Capitol Museum to talk about one more of the most amazing museums here in China that you can go to to learn about why Beijing is a city of museums. two major exhibits. One is going to be a Buddhist statues, and they're not just here from Beijing, and not just from China either. They're ones from Tibet, India, Cambodia, Vietnam, everywhere. But what the pictures in this gallery show you is the evolution of Buddhism from this Indian subcontinent to China, and taking on increasingly Chinese characteristics over a 2,000 year period. The fifth floor of the Capitol Museum also has myriad accoutrements from people's daily lives of the last several centuries, including their clothes, uh, their utensils, uh, tea sets. There's even an altar for exercising evil spirits, in case you need that. Here in B1, I just saw two amazing exhibits, one about Peking National Opera, or Jingju, and another one about the central axis of Beijing. But what's interesting about the Capitol Museum is that on B1 and floors 1 and 2, you can see different changing exhibits from month to month. We just happen to be here at the end of Spring Festival 2021, but there'll be new exhibits to come. Naturally, most of you have heard of or have been to the National Museum adjacent to Tiananmen Square. Beijing Capital Museum here on the west side of Beijing on Line 1 is also worth the visit. And if you're as uh, serious as I am about Beijing, City of Museums, come and visit this amazing cultural heritage site. See you next time, Xinhua.